Welcome to Our Town at Kama Coffee. Today we'll have Sarah Jones who will be talking about the Community Reads program uh, and we'll have, be right with her in just a second after a word from our sponsor. Here's to being there for your family. With our new convenient location in North Carson City and easy hospital access, exceptional health care is closer than ever before. Carson Tahoe Regional Healthcare. Here's to your health. Welcome back. Uh, we're here with Sarah Jones. Hi. You're the director of the Carson City Library. That's correct. And uh, you have this interesting program, this Capital City Reads. Uh, right. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Well, I'd love to. Um, Capital City Reads is an initiative where we're asking the whole community to read a book. And the book that we're wanting to, um, we're reading right now is Three Cups of Tea. Mm -hmm. It's a book by Greg Mortensen. And for um, just a little background, it's a nonfiction book. It's about, he's a um, started out as a mountain climber and he was climbing in Pakistan and got in trouble. You, you know, he was unable to, uh, he was separated from his guide and wandered into a village and they saved his life. They mm -hmm. fed him. Because um, wasn't he like warm. at the top that he was like climbing the mountain and actually descended was, down the wrong well, side or he whatever? Was climbing, and um, he was climbing K2 and he um, helped some other distressed climbers. He's an mm -hmm. emergency room nurse by profession. He mm -hmm. was working in San Francisco doing that and he got in trouble or these other climbers got in trouble and they aided the other climbers and by doing that he no longer had the physical ability to do the ascent. Mm -hmm. So he started um, down in pretty bad shape from that and in and of itself and got separated from his guide which is really you know almost deadly in mountain climbing. Mm -hmm. So he wandered into a very um, very remote village and they, you know, um, fed him and clothed him and to the extent that they had nothing themselves, but they give it to him and saved his life. And through a lot of conversations, he said, what could I do to help? And they said, well, we could really use a school. And so he said, okay, he's, you know, like a 20-something young man. How hard could it be to go back to the <laughs> States? And, you know, he called Oprah Winfrey and Tom Brokaw, wrote him letters, and, of course, to really no avail. But he never gave up, and he's built, um, I believe it's in the neighborhood of 70 schools in Pakistan and Afghanistan. It's all done through um, private fundraising, and one of the primary reasons that he does all these public appearances is to raise awareness and to raise money. And that's, that leads us to the big, enormous signature event of Capital City Reads Three Cups of Tea, as Mr. Mortensen will be here a week from tonight. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, uh, a, the uh, presentations at the Carson Nugget. And tickets have actually all been distributed except for 50, which are available in a lottery, and we're going to draw that lottery tonight. So um, there's still a little bit of time. I'm not sure exactly when you're going to play this, but <laughs> a little bit of time to get those. Right. But that being said, we are also, um, through uh, some local television people, we are hoping we are going to be able to take it, mm -hmm. and we are going to be able to show it at one time again. So there won't be... Uh, we're not exactly sure when that one time is. We're gonna. We need to find um, a broadcast medium to do that. Mm -hmm. So you won't. You won't miss out entirely. But that's just one really signature event of Capital mm -hmm. City Reads. We kicked it all off with Rick Gunn, who you probably oh know yes. Rick really <laughs> well. He travels throughout the world. Mm -hmm. We kicked it off on February 9th, and he had a sellout crowd at Galaxy Theater. 330 some people saw yeah. his beautiful show. Um, no, that was on that big on the big screen too. Yeah, yeah that's All that digital, would be amazing to see that on the great, big screen. Great, um, great audio uh, parts to it, and of course he's you know he's he really has a very similar experience of how when you go anywhere in the world, people want the same things. They want their kids educated. They want them to be safe. Um, they're really welcoming to strangers, and that, I think if we're looking for a central focus of why we're reading Three Cups of Tea. It's about that, is that we're all humans, all in this mm -hmm. condition together, and that perhaps by helping one another is a better approach than harming one another. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's yeah. so we've had a real focus on, on that. And of course, um, there's uh, something that people don't always know is three cups of tea is required reading for all Pentagon staff. It's required mm -hmm. reading for um, any of the uh, military officers that serve in either Pac or Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I mean, it's this whole idea that if you can get to know a community and understand them, then that's maybe a better approach than coming in and saying, we're Americans, let's do it this way. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a break right now, and we'll be right back. I'm Charlie Morello, owner of Allied Tires, and this is my great dog, Tyler. For the past 40 years, Allied Tire has been Carson City's hometown tire and auto repair shop, 
selling quality tires at a great price. To jumpstart the winter tire selling season, I have priced all Cooper tires to the lowest price of the year. Purchase a set of Cooper tires and receive free mounting, tire rotation, and free flat repairs for the life of the treads. Come in soon and get a great deal on Cooper tires. Ally Tire is located on Highway 50 East, across from the post office. Welcome back. We're here with Sarah Jones from the Carson City Library. And uh, we're talking about the Capital Reads program. Right. And uh, how did this program come about? And well, actually, you know, Carson City's done a couple of um, community reading programs before. I don't know if you, you might remember, uh, this is, predates me from being the director of Carson City, but I was the state librarian. They read a book called Mountain City by Greg Martin. Mm -hmm. Uh, Greg Martin, he's really, it was a fabulous book written about Mountain City in Nevada. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the whole community read, th read that. The uh, community college was involved and Douglas County was involved and it really was great. And then I think they kind of took a year or two off and then when the first year I came on board, we joined Washoe County and we read um, Fahrenheit 451, Ray Bradbury, and we did that as a, um, actually we called that Northern Nevada Reads because it was mm -hmm. the whole region. And then I had um, read Three Cups of Tea and I had actually gone to, I, I'd gone to a conference exclusively to see um, Greg Mortensen. The conference was kind of interesting, but I really wanted to see him. So I saw him and then I, for about a year we pursued getting him to come. It wasn't easy. He's really overscheduled and so we spent a lot of time and we had to write a grant um, mm -hmm. because it's, uh, it, you know, it's, uh, there's some funding involved in his speaker's fees and then all mm -hmm. the other accoutrements to the community read. So we wrote a grant where we were awarded that grant and got him confirmed. And um, really, it's, there's been a lot of really good response to this. We've tried very hard with programming to not, it's, there's this really ad high adventure things. Rick Gunn's a high adventure guy. We had a mountain climber last week. But we're also doing some, um, we have in uh, Tuesday the 6th of April, we have a, wo a woman that's going to do something called the Silk Road Music Art and Poetry from Istanbul to Samarkand. Wow. And it, so it's a, it'll be a little bit more of the cultural side of this. But the, the main focus is cultural awareness, um, certainly that we're all humans and people on this earth and that some of the religious differences maybe shouldn't be as different. So that, that's, and um, you know, Greg Mortensen, his, er, no matter where he goes, it sells out. I mean, whether you have 800, which is our ticket number, 8,000, they sell mm -hmm. out. Um, he's, the night before he will be um, in Florida visiting military leaders. Uh -huh. The day after he goes to Redding, California to a sold out crowd there too. So, you know, we really wanted to do something that would um, bring the community together. Um, we also like to do things that, um, it's not as easy to engage men in reading activities, but this one, if you come to any of our performances, we're probably seeing more men than women in the mm. audience, which right. is really great. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's one of the things too, is to make sure you do a broad, broad approach to okay. something like this. Well, tell us the tell us the uh, the the times and places I will again do that. here. Just to tonight, um, which is uh, Tuesday, March second, we will be having Ruth Ann Kakur, who's an adventure photographer, has actually climbed K2 among a num uh, many other um, mountains, and she's at 6:30. Followed by that lottery drawing for Greg Martinson, which is the following Tuesday, March 9th. Um, then we're going to do some actual community discussions of the books, which I'll be leading on Tuesday the 16th. Right. And now and where do these take place at? Is it? Um, everything's at the library except for Greg Mortensen, and he's at the Nugget. Okay. Um, that's, that um, was the biggest uh, venue we could find. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming You're here. You're very welcome. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, we will catch you on the next uh, episode of Our Town at Comic Coffee. At Dick Company's Capital Ford Mazda Hyundai, we're overstocked. And now our select pre-owned vehicles are priced right and ready for a new home. Our factory certified vehicles are a great buy and feature exceptional warranties. Plus, all our pre-owned vehicles are quality assured by AutoCheck, so you get peace of mind with your purchase. You deserve the best. And that's what we offer at award-winning Dick Company's Capital Ford Mazda Hyundai, just 29 miles south of Reno.